Now today, let's start a short demonstration what Shaco Editor can do. So, we are in the GitHub page here, like, so you, you just need to, uh, to run like this command line in your bash shell. So this is basically like just clone and give the right permissions. Just this, simple like this. If you have any doubts, just open the script and then use it. So, simple like this. So it's so as I said, it's cloning. Just we just need to wait like few moments. Now ask for password to the permissions. Then starting the quit store, the our triple store server. Uh, uh, that allows you to to have versions of the graph. So then it start then. We just need to go where the repository was cloned and open the index.html. So, was here, editor, and then we open. Okay. So, uh, we are here. And then we can just start to do our stuff here. So I will add a class, a person. Okay, so I have a person here. Um, so and this person has like, for instance, like two properties, like birth date and also death date okay so let's see let's say that this person uh, like works in some place so and then we add one more class here like workplace and then for workplace we add like properties for instance like um, uh, Kind of I like work ID something or we can name whatever you want and I don't know like address whatever uh, whatever you want I will put like address like uh, okay so now we will say that a person works in some place so we add a container class so we choose a class that is workplace and we choose the property that we want to relate that is work id so then this creates uh, this relation here so uh, oh sorry and uh, so then we have like here like oh sorry again so uh we have here like person contains one id so this person works in some place and well and the uh, rdf about this class is here rdf about this class is here just need to click on the node that represent the class and you see and well let's add a sh uh, shackle shape to validate so we add one shape here okay so now we have a shape all the content of the shackle shape is shown here so and then we will add like some constraints now for instance we did it uh, like Let's start with birth date. So um, we can, well, we have a like 
suggestion according to the property like for instance birth date if you click here they will suggest that should be less than death date and should be at least one so and then we add so we can see like the shapes here right so and then we can just like try to like I don't know what do some validation here and we see the result of the validation here um, and so we can save the project we will receive a ID to load this project in in the future suppose that okay so um, okay I have this graph blah 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 okay and I want to open later okay so we just I don't know like close the window and I don't know, yeah so uh, I wake up tomorrow and okay let's let's try again the oh, okay so I want to load my graph the same graph so just come here 22 load so it's here a graph okay same the same thing and suppose that you want to to uh, to query your triples or whatever so I just click here like sparkle query sparkle endpoint so and then you are here so um ours is 22 so you can run your sparkle queries here like whatever you want um, so you see the, the triples here right so it's a usual triple store and well, uh, as we are using like quit store, it's like it's the same thing that you are using like GitHub, but for triple store. Like for instance, we have the versions here, like the branch, the branch here, like the and so on. You can check all the versions, all commits, all in so so every update and insert it's uh, uh, is the same thing that you do a commit a push okay so then you have the all the inserts and updates that you did it in your triple store and yeah that's all my friends that's all you have the graph here and well whatever what else I forget forget to explain yeah that's all if you want to learn more about Shaco or uh, uh, RDF so I think that's it let's keep simple Thank you. Bye-bye.